Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I am here with this gaming PC and I want to tell you about a problem that I had recently and how I solved it where this gaming PC was crashing. Now I will state up front that this video is not my normal how-to style which I normally do and that's because I wasn't really 100% sure initially that I was going to solve the problem and thus I didn't record any footage. However, I thought after I've solved the problem that I'd like to share this with you for the wider community so that if you're having a similar problem, you can see how I solved this issue. So the issue at hand was that the PC would crash. When I say crashing, the PC whilst playing the game Valorant would not freeze, it would not go through the normal shutdown sequence. It would simply power off instantly, as if it had been switched off from the wall outlet in fact, and then it would start with the normal boot sequence. Now, initially, as I said, we discovered this problem whilst playing the game Valorant, and initially it was quite random. However, after a little bit of playing with it, we found that we were able to repeat the problem simply by alt-tabbing during the startup sequence of the game away from the Valorant startup screen. So that led me down the path of doing a Windows update and ensuring that all of the drivers were up to date on this PC. However, the problem still existed. So from there, I thought I should do some load testing on this PC. So I downloaded the software User Benchmark. I will put a link in the description to this video, but basically this software tests the CPU, memory, hard drive or SSD, and the GPU. And what I found, that when I ran this software, I was able to reproduce the crash when it got to running the GPU section. So what I determined from this was that I either had a GPU problem or I had a power supply unit problem. So what I did from here was I downloaded the software MSI Afterburner. Now what this software does is it effectively allows you to limit the power consumption from your GPU that it draws on the power supply. And what I found was that by limiting the power that the GPU pulled from the PSU to around 80% that the problem did not occur. So I then proceeded to go about and purchase a new power supply. So rightly or wrongly, I chose to purchase the same model of power supply again that was already in this PC. Some may question this decision. However, I chose to choose this Corsair CX750M power supply again because one, it is a 750 watt power supply, which should be more than adequate. Secondly, the old unit was approximately six years old. The new unit comes with a five year warranty it is a semi-modular power supply unit and what that means is that it comes with a wiring harness which is actually removable from the power supply unit and effectively by using the same model of power supply I could reuse all of the internal wiring inside the PC making this a really easy installation for myself and at the end of the day it was relatively cheap at just over a hundred dollars so after I've installed this power supply unit what have I found? Well I've found that the problem that I had before with the PC restarting whilst play, playing games such as Valorant, etc., has 100% gone away. And this PC has now been playing games pretty faultlessly for the last three weeks. Straight away I found that the user bench software, I couldn't get the PC to crash, and that is just an excellent result. So there you go folks, I've managed to fix this PC by swapping the power supply unit, and I hope you found this video useful today. If you've liked this video, do feel free to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, have a good evening.